For this review we look at two versions of the Terex TLB800 series backhoe loader. The TLB840 is NZG model number 867. The TLB890 is model number 915. Both models come in very similar Terex branded boxes. So let's choose one to open up and see what's inside. Well there's no surprise because what comes out is a pair of expanded polystyrene trays and they are helpfully marked top and bottom. So there's no excuse for the model not being the right way up and when you pull it out there's no assembly to do because this model is complete out of the box. Both models are very similar and starting underneath the transmission is detailed although it's in plastic. The big tyres are good and the metal wheels are detailed but only on the outside faces. At the back the stabilisers are plastic but there are hoses running to the back hoe. The curved boom and dipper stick are modelled well and there are hydraulic hoses. The connection pins are also very discreet. The cap detailing is very good with the window handles modelled and inside all of the controls are very good too. The engine cover and counterweight at the front is simple and there's a small Terex logo. The loader arm and bucket is also very good with more discreet pins. And there's a red safety lock as well. Apart from the graphics, the main difference between the two models is in the design of the dipper stick. Once again we're out onto the Cranes Etc test track and the backhoe loader drives along willingly. Looking underneath the rear wheels are fixed to a common axle and at the front the axle is capable of a significant amount of oscillation. Also the steering is functional and it achieves a good lock. So the steering axle produces more interesting poses and it makes a reasonable job of driving the model around a bend. Moving on to the front loader functionality and there's certainly a good tipping angle at the bottom of the travel. And there's a decent carry angle too. Moving up the bucket achieves a reasonable height. But when it comes to the tipping angle it seems just a little bit shallow. That was the front end so now let's go to the back end. And the first thing we can do is to pull down the stabilisers. These are plastic and they rely on friction to hold the pose. Which they do because they are able to support the model. The backhoe does have a number of different functions. It rotates from side to side on the pivot and both the boom, dipper stick and bucket have a moderate range of movement. Although it can't reach as high as the real machine. Both versions of the model feature an extending dipper stick and NZG have done a good job of engineering that. The other bit of functionality is the side shift on the backhoe and the whole arrangement moves on rails from side to side so you can achieve offset digging. The last area to look at is the ability of the backhoe to dig at depth and in this regard the model is only moderately successful because it can't achieve the same kind of digging profile as the real machine. Yes it's time for the first of the genuine imitation real life tests and here we see the TLB890 loading up a road tipper. In this test the bucket height and tipping angle aren't quite good enough to fully empty the bucket. So hey let's run the test again and this time with the TLB840. And as you would expect the front ends are pretty much the same on these models and so the result is the same. Moving on and the next of the genuine imitation real life tests is to load the tipper truck with the backhoe. So here we see the backhoe being operated with giant ridiculous hands which look completely unrealistic. But let's not be too critical because these reviews are very high technology. The small bucket just about gets over the edge of the tipper and is able to get rid of its load. These are a nice enough pair of Terex backhoe loaders by NZG. There is a bit of plastic on them and the functionality is reasonably good. But overall they're nicely detailed and look convincing so they're just good enough to be highly recommended. Mm -hmm. 